Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good holiday with you and your family. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG. So PCLN is still holding on. We have some upper wicks rejecting from the upper 1700s, but we are still very easily controlling the action by the bulls. And even if we pull back to the middle Bollinger Band, we will still be in control in the mid 1700s. So we're just looking up at resistance, the upper Bollinger Band, the 50 day moving average resistance and 1800 psychological all levels that we're going to be keeping an eye on as we head into the end of the year. But overall, healthy consolidation, just building a base of support and a very similar consolidation pattern to what the S&P 500 is seeing. If we get a new all-time high in the S&P 500, we're looking for PCLN to get over 1800. Weekly time frame has a higher low and a higher high. We've gotten these exponential moving averages as support now and watching to see if we can continue to hold them as support on any back tests and close in on a potential bullish MACD cross on the weekly time frame. NVDA on the daily chart, big long lower wick of bulls buying the dip, trying to form that as our higher low of 191.25. We've got resistance now at 198.07 to get that higher high. So the pattern of higher lows and higher highs on this bounce recovery continues. Need follow through on Tuesday with a bullish candlestick to confirm this bullish reversal hammer and to confirm that we're likely continuing to higher highs. Weekly time frame holding that middle Bollinger Band for the third week in a row. And it's going to be a tight range between the exponential resistance and the middle Bollinger Band support this coming week as we head into the new year. Tesla with a week close on the daily time frame down at the low of the day, favoring bear momentum into next week. Middle Bollinger Band and 50-day moving average supports are going to be right around 322. We'll watch to see if the bulls are able to hold that level. If they can't, the last support that we established was down at 311.05. So key moving average support. Otherwise, 311.05 is next. And our new resistance level is the high of the little bounce attempt from Thursday. That was up at 333.74. So overall, bulls are strong on the daily time frame, looking for a higher low, but we are not done consolidating and have not found that higher low just yet. Weekly time frame, that 50 week moving average held many times. We're heading back down towards that level, which will be around 316. So essentially just patiently waiting for a bullish reversal candlestick and confirmation of it on the daily time frame to indicate that our higher low has been established. Netflix on the daily also still struggling just compared to all the other tech names that are so much stronger, way more resistance on Netflix. 100 day moving average support is held time and time again. That's at 186.08. And in terms of resistance, 190.95 is a double top the past two days. And then we're looking up at 192.64. Weekly time frame still just fine for the bulls. They're holding this middle Bollinger Band. We've been consolidating for about three, four months at this point. Have to hold this middle Bollinger Band and have the bulls make their way back towards 200 in order for the bulls to keep control of this weekly time frame and to follow along with some of the other names in the tech sector that have been leading the way in terms of new all-time highs and strength. CMG on the daily time frame, bullish reversal candlestick off of 290. We're going to look for a short-term bounce and a potential rejection from exponential resistance and 300 psychological on the back test. If that's the case, it's a bearish entry opportunity as we are still scouting this gap fill at 286.06 as a potential target if we do not see some follow-through on this bounce with increasing bull volume. That would be the only thing that would have me looking for uh, the bulls to see a strong recovery. If we don't have increasing bull volume, definitely scouting a bearish entry on CMG on this little weak bounce attempt as we cool off the hourly oversold levels. So just a quick rundown again, PCLN still holding on strong for the bulls, similar consolidation to the S&P 500. NVDA bullish reversal hammer on the daily with the cryptocurrency dump that we saw to end last week and trying to recover with the sector. Tesla on the daily, not done consolidating, close at the low of the day, favoring bear momentum. Netflix, bulls trying to hold the 100-day moving average and make their way back towards 200, laggard in the tech sector. And CMG, short-term bounce, bearish entry opportunity approaching. Thanks again. We'll see you over the week.